Hey folks, how's it going? So, okay, here we go. We're at the Menorah Tunnel area. Now, this is the incline going up. And, uh, of course, thankfully, all the lorries are keeping to the, to the left. And, uh, hang on, I need to overtake this. Very, very nice Opel Zafira. Do you remember the Opel Zafira? Yeah, I do. Nice one. So, okay. Um, there's been a lot of criticisms and also a lot of support and condemnation for my previous videos about the uh, those dreaded rumble strips that uh, are going to happen after the Menorah Tunnel. Now, I can see the good points, I can see the bad points. I'm trying to look at it from both sides. And, uh, okay, this is going to be a perfect example because I'm not in a bus, I'm not in a lorry. I'm in an actual passenger car. And uh, we will actually be able to feel now how horrible those bumps are. Now, these lorries and buses now, they're all keeping to the left because they're having trouble, you know, going up this incline. Sorry, I need to equalize. That's how high up we are. I actually had to equalize. So they're having trouble climbing up the slope. But later on, once they get past the Menorah Tunnel, they are going to be flying. Because for one thing, they need to keep their momentum um, so that they don't stall. That's one thing. The other thing is, those rumble strips have no effect on them whatsoever. Okay? Their tires are huge. Now, if you're a biker, you're going to know what I mean. Because when you're riding a regular bike with big wheels, and you go over those uh, small pothole or something like that, you don't really feel anything. But when you are in a, on a scooter with those really small wheels, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it a lot because um, it has to do with the size of the, uh, the actual size of the tire itself, the size of the wheel. And so big wheels like the ones found on lorries and buses and trailers, those rumble strips don't do anything for them at all. They can't feel it. They really can't. So I've seen buses, lorries, and trucks just flying over those rumble strips. And if you're in a car and you slow down, and I am going to slow down to the speed limit um, when we go over these strips. Now we're going through the tunnel. It's going to get a little bit dark. Please remember to turn on your lights when you go when you go through the tunnel. Yeah. Um, oh, good. My phone is compensating for the darkness. Oh no, it's not. Anyway, yeah. So right after this tunnel, you're gonna. There's a very sharp right followed by those rumble strips and um, I checked the so no actually Buck sent me a very nice screenshot of JKR's uh, from JKR's uh, Facebook page those rumble strips are not supposed to be in the corner they're supposed to be at least 50 meters before a corner but unfortunately you're gonna find out right here that those rumble strips are actually in the corner so now we're out of the menorah tunnel we're heading now, this used to be uh, Changkat Jering Jelapang, um, uh, sorry, it still is Changkat Jering Jelapang area. So, so far here is okay. They should have put some right outside the tunnel actually, because this is a pretty sharp corner. Right, so the speed limit is 80, I'm going to slow down to 80. And this very nice Zafira is going to overtake me now. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, you saw a bit of it. Kudos, man. That's a, that's a very old MPV, but it's uh, in very, very nice condition. So I shall slow down, there's a bit of a, I don't know what's this inside here then. Okay, here we go. See, now these are in the corner. I'm doing 80. These rumble strips are not supposed to be in the corner. Okay, these aren't so bad yet, but they're going to get worse. See, they already got a little bit worse there now. There's none here. This is the left, the sweeping left where the um, emergency the emergency exit row, which I pray I'll never have to use, uh, if your brakes fail, there's a Hentian Kachamasa and there's an exit here where it's full of sand and it will slow down your car. No, I'm not going to try. Check this out. So now this is in a corner. It's not supposed to be there. It's dry, thankfully, but it's if it was raining, this is where it's going to be really bad now. And I'm doing 80. all the way through the corner and there's an Amco barrier here that's smashed right at the apex and now we're out of the corner on a straight no more rumble strips okay I shall shift to fifth to quieten the engine a little bit and oh my ears just popped again so yes I'm still doing 80 okay ah there's a trailer here that's actually doing 80 wow awesome well done to you I think that's also because uh, 
if his brakes fail, he's past the uh, Hentian Kachimasa and it's, he's a goner. He'll have to bail. Like that scene from uh, uh, to, uh, Fast and Furious, the guy grabs his iguana and jumps out. And here's the start of the really bad ones. Okay, I'm slightly over 80, I'm gonna slide to slow down. Okay, I'm doing 80 now. These are too high, but it's on a straight, so it's still forgivable. And uh, this is the area where I'm gonna keep quiet and I'm gonna let you feel just how bad is it because it goes all the way through the corner. Listen to this, I'm doing 80. The whole car is shaking. God. And that's all the way through the corner, which is ridiculous. And it continues. I'm in a corner now, and there are still rumble strips. That's the worst part. This is the next. All the way through the corner. Listen to this. The steering is feeling floaty. No. Just imagine in the wet. Now we're out of the corner. We're coming. We're on a straight. And there's still rumble strips. The road is perfectly straight. I'm only doing 80. Cars are flying past me. There's a lorry on my ass. I don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. I don't know. I cannot see the logic behind this. That area is very dangerous, no doubt. But those strips have actually made it more dangerous and I'll tell you exactly why. If you're on two wheels and it's raining and you go over rumble strips in the wet, your front tire hits, it's gonna micro slip. Your back tire hits, it's gonna micro slip. Your bike is gonna be start doing, it's gonna start doing this. And the next thing you know, you're off the road. I don't care what kind of, of uh, intelligent uh, ex experiments and, and tests have been done. There's no substitute for actual real world driving, okay? All those people who say that, you know, those, or those who, have, who are responsible for that, I need you to get on a bike when it's pouring down with rain and drive and ride on those rumble strips when it's raining, okay? Because it's dangerous in a car, it is lethal in the wet. And as Forrest Gump says, that's all I gotta say about that. Life's like a box of chocolates. Speaking of which, I'm hungry. Okay, you all take care, folks. Sorry to, to, to you know, belabor this subject. Go sign that petition. And uh, let's try and do something about this. Seriously, let's try and do something about this, okay? All right, talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.